Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a table haul. Like the least expensive things that I could buy that I wanted. Obviously, I'm also going to waste my money on some things. Although, we're not sure. I might return some. I don't know why I said we. But, ah, so this is the package. Normally, it's like labeled Timu and like it's bright orange. Oh, it says it's fragile. I don't know. So, this is the package. Kind of bulky. So, I actually ordered two packages. And they, I'm assuming they both came, like, together. So, that's that. And let's open it. Try not to, like... Okay. Don't want to break anything. Oh! I just have my own nail. It's fine. I also, I got some, um... Oh, I forgot I got that. Some, like nails but I have my nails done so is there anything besides that oh okay first thing we have this is big a dance bag so my dance bag that I have the zipper is starting to break so I needed a new one I almost forgot I came with a little one okay so this is like really big though oh got it Okay. Whoa, I'll lose the little one. Turn. Oh. Oh. It like. <laughs> so I'm unzip it. And then like. It stinks. They definitely have. Everything normally has like a definite warehouse smell. Okay. Cute. Might be a little bit too, not too, actually no, this is about the size. It's a little bit bigger than I normally use, but it's okay. So inside it has a bigger strap, which is really small. Like this is a tiny strap. I might see if I can take the strap off my other dance bag. Like, this is not that big. See if I can take the strap off my old dance bag and put it on this, because I think it's just a black strap. Has three like little pocket things, little pocket things, and then let's put everything on, on this side. Has like a zipper pocket, zip it all the way up. It's a pretty big pocket. And then on the outside, so this is the front, and then the back. So it has this spot here, so I think you can like put um it like on a suitcase although I'm not sure that's big enough for a suitcase but so it has then it has a pocket there so it's, it doesn't have that many pockets but so then stop collapsing the bottom is like a shoe compartment so let's try to unzip that That is a skin. My shoe is not gonna fit in that. How do I expect the shoe to fit there? I'm gonna we should test that out later. But yeah, so that is the main bag. And then it came with an extra little baggie. So let's open that up. There's a little bag that like, oh, oh my, what? Oh, it opens up and this thing that, the like inside, it opens up a little bit, looks like that, and the inside had like come out. So that is the first item that we got today. I feel like that was like sixteen dollars. I can't remember. Okay, so I've used the dance bag for like about a week now. It works really well. It holds a lot more than my old one because of the way my old one was designed. It couldn't hold a lot. 
I use the bottom compartment to hold like an extra leotard, skirt, um, I think, oh, I put my like emergency kit in there and then I had something else. I feel like I put a water bottle and some food or something down there. I don't remember. Um, but then the top, like, because it doesn't have so many compartments, I added my own. So I put like a bag in there and that has my shoes in it that, but like, I leave it open so they don't stink up that little bag that gets so gross. And then the bag it came with, I put a bunch of supplies in and things. And then, so like my hair, hairspray, um, my Arnica gel, things like that. I think the toe tape, but my extra toe tape I think is in there. Yeah, and then the pocket in the bag, I keep extra bobby pins, things like that. Um, it works really well. The only thing is the strap is, like, it curls up a lot, and it's not comfortable. So I might, like, my old one had a pad on it, so I might try to test putting that on there. I haven't done it yet, though. Okay, so what's next on the strap? The next thing is also a really big one. Aha! Okay, so this package was just this thing with then the other package inside. Okay, so this doesn't have my address on, which is great because I don't have to worry about like showing the view or anything. I don't, I still don't know why it said it was, this also said it was fragile. I don't know. It, nothing I got should be fragile. Oh. Okay. Let's see, what should I grab first? So I got a pack. I wanted to try these out for a while. Okay. The bag that that was wrapped in. It's like for makeup. It's the like like these things. Yeah. There's like, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They are really soft and squishy. I love them. I don't know what on earth I'm supposed to do with ten of them, but I don't know. Oh! No, come back. I feel like this was just like a dollar, and I've wanted to try these out for a while, so why not try them with you guys? I'll put those right there. Okay. Next up is oh, I actually already have a set of these. So I was thinking I was going to give them to like a friend or something. I don't know. Um, when's my friend's birthday? I don't know. But they're so nice. Oh, they're cold. It's really cold outside. So go on your wrist and they stop like the water from going past. I have a pair. I gave a set to my sister for Christmas. They're really nice. Put those back in there. So, I won't test this exact pair. I'm not sure if I'll return it or not. I just, I don't remember. But, so then, I already saw this. And I wanted to I see it. Oh, I got two? I did not, I thought I got one. Okay, so this is for traveling with a beauty blender makeup. Oh, they're each in their own individual thing. So the... Only, my only main thing with Timu is the fact that everything is packaged in so many layers of plastic. I'm like, why? Why do you need that? Although it keeps it clean. It keeps sticking to my hand. Go away. Okay. So I got two. Then they like close up. Um, hello? Oh, that's weird. You have to like close it, but then oh, I don't know. So it has like a bunch of holes in it. Let's see how easy it is to open. Yeah, so you just like push it in a little bit and it pops open. That's cute. I like that. I'm glad I got two. That's nice. Okay, so next. Oh, oh. Nails. So, I don't think these came with glue, but I have glue, but my only thing is I got my nails done, and I like that so much better. It's so much less work. Oh, comes with the blue, pardon, blue 
nail file. Oh, it comes with the like glue gel stick on things, but those do not work for me. But so these are the nails. Um, they're a lot darker and longer than I expected. Like the thumb is really long. Like it's a good, like, I don't know, a little bit along, longer than the nails I already have on and these are a lot of an extension. Yeah, so I'm definitely gonna be returning these. But so I also, I do know that Timu nails often are very good because like I've used them in the past. <coughs> Not that specific set, 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 but I have used Timu nails in general. Oh, so, th ooh, this is another set. Oh, so this is a different company. This is nail, just nails, versus this is beautiful nail. Has cuter packaging. Yeah. Oh, the back is covered up by a scanner, so you don't know how to put it on. Um, but that's pretty. I like that. It's like a light pink, glittery. I might keep this, even though, like, I do have these. I often will... Like, the likelihood that I'll still use other nails is very high. So pretty. And these aren't too long. Like, these are shorter than the ones I have on now. Only by the fact that they're a flat tip versus this is rounded. Because this is almond shaped. These are almond shaped. Okay. So let's put that back. So now let's go with... Oh, another set. Oh, this is... Also beautiful nail. The packaging is a little different though, but it's the same brand. Um, these are like pink with like white, which is pretty, but they're off. These are really long. These are like really, really long. They're even longer than the first nail I showed you. But so I'm definitely gonna return those. Um, oh, this is hefty. So I got a brush washer, so I, I thought it was going to be thin. Also, by the way, I got this nail, not nail, the, this like, nice, like, thing on Chimu as well, in a different package that I got a while ago. So, ooh, so it has like all these different texture things for like scrubbing, down here is texture too, if you just can't tell very easy. And then it pops open into like a bowl so you can like fill it with water. You know what this reminds me of? The egg dyeing. Like, because I would dye my eggs for like Easter stuff. So you can fill it with water or scrub it. I like that way. That way I'm not using so much water. Because it was so, I felt so bad. I was using so much water anytime I wanted to wash them. And I can put the soap right on this. I like that. That's cool. I mean, it's a little big for like storage because it's a huge rim. I don't see why. But that's cute. I like that. This is the first thing that I saw. Ooh, it's really big. So I got these things. They're for like cords, because I use cords a lot, like for various things, like charger cords, things like that. Let's see. Oh, I also don't like yellow, so this is like really. Oh wait, it has like a thing. Like I don't know. So they like open up and then would like the cord would go inside and like keep it together. I don't. I got two bright yellows, two of this like off green color, which is kind of pretty, and then this pink. I like the pink. I'm a pink girl. Like, if you can't tell by the fact that everything is pink, besides like the rest things, which I'm giving to a friend, and the like face pad things, because I don't think it had pink. Like, ooh, what is this? Oh, what? So I got this necklace. I'm guess. Oh, is it supposed to have two layers? Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it hangs like this once you out of the packaging, and it is two necklaces. Oh, that's so pretty. I like that. So I'm not actually going to try this on because it is for like a friend. It's going to be a gift for someone. So but that's pretty. I like that. Whoa. 
heart is like upside down. And the clips are like good. Nice. I like that. It's really pretty. I might move it to a different box that's a little bit more like not like this like bag where they all just like swim along. Because I have some boxes from some old jewelry stuff that I have. There. But now let's see what's next. Oh! A white eyeliner. Ooh, so cute. I've always wanted to try, like, I'm not an eyeliner girly. Like, I have, I think, one black eyeliner pencil that I got from Dollar Tree. And then, oh, I got eyeliner for dance. So that's, like, a liquid one. Soft eyeliner pencil. Yeah. Whatever this brand is. Yeah. So then... The lid, this pencil. Why is it brown? It's just like a mark from the lid. Oh, it feels nice. Like smiley face. Draw a smiley face. Yeah. Not sure how well you can see it, but yeah. So there's that. That's cool. It wipes off really easily though, so I'm not sure how well that's gonna work, like being on the eye. But next up. Oh, I've wanted to try these for a while. So this is for like airbrush. Got it. Okay. So it is again in another plastic wrap. This is a um ow for like hairbrush. Oh, you have to spread the bristles apart yourself. It's for like a hair. I don't. It's not quite what I expected. Like, they're all cramped together. It's supposed to be, like, spread out so you can, like, scrape a hairbrush and, like, collect your bristles, like, your hair from it. But this is not what I was expecting. I'm gonna keep the packaging for that. Because if that doesn't work, I'm definitely returning that. Yeah, so. I'm not sure about that. But, so next up is... Oh! This is a portable lint roller that all, you have to a reusable one so all you have to do is like rinse it off I think you peel off the plastic and then it's supposed to be like lint roll stuff and then you can what is it? oh so you hold it like this and you can go like this on something not my these pants because I didn't take the plastic thing off that's cool. My question is though, does it work after you like rinse it off? Because to clean off what you lint rolled with it, you have to like um, wash it. But so I'm more like, I'm worried hair is gonna get stuck in like the circle and break it. But next up is, ooh, another necklace. I thought that was supposed to be blue. I think it might be like on the other side. Okay, so this. I got this from my mom. Oh! Oh, it's pink. Wait. I just one I ordered blue. That looks like the silver paint is coming off. Oh, and a jewel is falling out. Oh! It just broke. The cord wasn't through the necklace. Like, it's two separate parts, which is okay, because it's just this chain. But then, so, this thing, well, it's pretty, but this jewel, like, what's up with that jewel? Why is it, like, coming out of the thing? And, like, why is some of the, like, pink from that on here, and I swore, I'm, I could swear I ordered the blue jewel. Like, there's that random pink all over, which I don't think it's supposed to be. Huh. So, I'm gonna put that back in this bag. 
that concerns me. I didn't think that that was actually going to be like... Huh. That scares me. Okay. We have, I think I have like two or three things left. So this, oh, I forgot I got a ring. So this is a ring. I'm really excited. It's so cute. Okay. So I'm really going to test out like a few products that like I need to. So like the lint roller, the beauty blender, like makeup thing. Oh, look how pretty that is. It's like a cross and then it's like that around it. Pretty. Let's see, does it fit my finger? I went bigger than smaller, so it's a little like it stays on, but it's like loose enough that it scares me. I also don't really wear rings, so I'm not entirely sure. I might give it to one of my friends, but that is really cute and it fits. But the fact that it doesn't fit is kind of more my fault because like they they show you how to like like size the ring, like on the um, website. So I used that, but I probably did it wrong. Oh, so this is what I thought this was. So this has like an extra bead thing with it. This is just a regular like heart. I don't know why I thought I needed both. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, so it literally is like the exact same thing, except the heart's just not as thick. So pretty. I got all of this for like, well, besides this and I think two of the nail sets, I got all of it for like, I think it was like a tiny bit over $10. Okay, so the thing with Timu is the fact that like you have to spend $10 or you can't order. So it's really annoying. I mean, you can return things, but like, it's a pain. Okay, so, oh, I, what is this? It says it ages 15 years in a bowl and older. I think it's just a necklace. That's really weird. Ugh. Trying to do little things like plasticky like this with like nails is not easy. Okay, let's see. Oh, yep. What? I don't remember ordering this. It's like a butterfly necklace. Huh? I am really confused. I didn't think I ordered a butterfly necklace. What? Oh. Oh! There's no way this is gonna like fit around someone's neck. Okay. I do remember ordering this more now. So it's like a double necklace thing. Same as the other golden one. So this has like a little butterfly and like a big one. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Now I sort of remember. Oh, and the but bottom butterfly has like some jewels on it. That's cute. I like that. I don't remember ordering it, but I like it. <laughs> See, this is the last. This is the last item. Yep. Okay. This is a. Oh, it's another ring. Oh, I was so excited about this ring. Apparently got a lot of jewelry in this haul, because the jewelry's, I'm guessing, very inexpensive for them to make. So this ring says faith over fear. Faith over fear. It's hard for you guys, it's probably backwards for you guys. So let's see, does this ring fit? It's about the same. It's pretty, I like that one. I really like this one. I like the simplicity of it. Because I'm definitely not really, like, a jewelry, jewelry person. Like, I wear a necklace I got for my best friend, and, like, that's about it. But, I don't know. I saw these rings and was like, oh, those are so cute. I need them. But, yeah. So, let's check on the pricing for everything. Okay. So, unfortunately, I can't test this thing out because I realized I just cleaned my makeup brushes, like, not that long ago. But I'm pretty sure that would work. Like, I don't see why it wouldn't. And if it doesn't, like, I have another thing I could always put in here and use to scrub it well. I just, like, honestly, you just need anything to push against to, yeah. So that should work 
perfectly. Okay, so now we're going to test out these things. So I brought these two. This is the one I use the most, and then I really only ooh, use one beauty blender, but I figured I'd bring two because they're technically from two different sets. So let's see. How do I, there we go. It's not hard. It's just like, well, usually it's not hard. Oh, it's not hard as long as you open the right side. So first we're going to test this one. Pop that right in there and shut it. Oh, that's like perfect. It's really big for the blender because often my, I think my blenders are really small. So if it's like a really universal one, but that's not functional for my, me. Like I don't need both and it's so big. I don't know what I would use it for. Like, although I don't know. If I get some more big beauty blenders in the future. But so then let's put the pink. Let's try the pink one. Because the thing is, these, the pink ones are longer. Like, this one's a lot shorter. Yeah, so that one also fits with a little less space in it. But, like, yeah. I don't know. Just concerns me. Okay. So, let's put those to the side. And then, okay. The cord is right here, so we're gonna like fold it up a few times. It's a really long cord, but I'm not gonna fold it up like all the way. So, yeah. Oh, I forgot to take one out. I should take one out first. Let's try one of the blue ones. Um, yeah. You have to put. I'm probably failing. So, if you guys have any tips of, ooh, as to how you're supposed to do this, this is still connected to my wall, so. This does not hold that much. Okay, so it's basically, yep, it reached its max. It can't hold anymore. So that was really obnoxious. Like, it's so thick. Like, the thing itself is really thick. Like, this is all I can hold. What? Like, it's easy enough to get them out, but like, to get them in, although, it is stretched out some, so I'm thinking it might be easier to put back in, or after you've, like, put it in and taken it out. Yeah. So, there's that. Now let's look at pricing. Okay. So, these nails were $2. The ones I actually, like, liked. But I got a partially refunded, so I think it became a dollar not this and this is what the picture for them looks like it's hard to see but they look fairly similar except for the fact that the sequins on this are like really big compared to this but it's okay um and then this set so the thing is this is what it's supposed to look like it's supposed to be like m much brighter pink versus this is like a Pastel, not pastel, that's like a mod. Like, that's not my favorite pink. So, there's that. And then this, the bag, along with the little thing with it, I got for $13.29. Okay, so let's go here. So, actually, apparently, this is exactly what the picture looks like. So, this was 37 cents for the brush thing. Well, it's not exactly because they're really, really close together. Yeah. So then these things were 75 cents for the five. Because I got the five piece pack. And then this was 62 cents. So, so far the cheapest thing I got was this. And then um, oh, the roller was 98 cents. So it was almost a dollar. And then. 10 of these for 55 cents so each of them was like shoot five cents almost not even yes no each of them was five cents it was like five cents and a half yeah five cents and a half for each of these no yes yes Yes, five cents and a half for each of them. My brain. And then 
the wash the hand things was 62 cents. So apparently I did order that necklace. The like butterfly necklace was 47 cents. Ooh, so that that's why I got the singular heart necklace. What is that? Where is that necklace? Um, oh, that is this one. The single heart, just that one, is 19 cents. So that was really, really cheap. And then the ring that was, said the faith over fear, that one was 59 cents. These nails were 60 cents. This necklace was 89 cents. And then, so almost everything has come looking a lot like the picture. But now let's look at the mom necklace. Okay, oh, so it, I didn't order it blue. I just thought it was. But so the picture does show the word pink, but this has pink on other stuff as well. And the jewel was messed up. So not too thrilled about that, but not much I can do. Not return it. Oh, and then two pink things was 99 cents. Then the cross um, ring was 77 cents. And the eyeliner pen... Soul, pencil, not pen, was 89 cents. So in total on this whole order, it was $10.26. So in total I got 29 things. That's a lot. That's like 30 things for less than $11. What? That's craziness. Well, I mean, I got 10 of these, plus 5 of this, and then I got a bunch of other things. Like what but so in total each thing was well it has a bunch of like numbers but so obviously i just round up to the point two or like point zero zero like how much money could have so it is in total each item is 35 cents what like i know i only bought them for like not that much but like, the most expensive thing I bought was not even a full dollar from that order. Okay, so let's go test these things out. Okay, so time to test this thing out. So my pants right now aren't, I mean, they're a little dirty, so let's just test them on that. So, oh, it's like a, it looks like it's like a really weird texture. So let's peel the plastic off. Because it's not like, oh, that's like weird sticky. Let's take this. Let's flinch. Ow. Oh, the hair like dents it. Lint rolling. The craziness out of these pants. Oh, wow. That got a lot of black fuzz. You can see, I don't know how much you can see all that. But that's a lot. Wow, these pants are fuzzy. It's probably because of the type of jean they are. Okay, let's go see if this can be rinsed off. Okay, so pardon my, like, dirty sink, because, yeah, just ignore it. Um, so, I already used this, and now you're supposed to be able to, like, just easily rinse it off. Put on the water. Sorry. Okay, so you have to rub it, but other than that, it just, like, wipes off. I mean, it's kind of gonna be ob that's gonna be obnoxious to dry. It's gonna be really obnoxious to dry. Huh? I don't know how I feel about that. When I ordered it, I hadn't realized that that was like how it worked. But by the time, like, I realized that I'd already ordered it, and yeah. So, and I didn't want to have to cancel the whole order to just like get a refund for that thing i'm trying to open these okay this is what it is let's turn the water on let's fill it up whoa it holds water what okay you know what let's not bad that worked really well i really like this this is gonna be so so handy really cute Really helpful. Dry. 
My apologies for filming the last session, like, wrong. Because I filmed it always, because normally that's how I film videos, because I'm not doing the long form. But, so now, it's time to test out the eyeliner. Actually, I'm going to do this first and then try the eyeliner. Let's see, this hairbrush has some. It's not super dirty because I don't let them get dirty because I don't like it. Technically, a good way of testing this out would be to use it. Oh, ew. The thing is, oh. Those actually kind of, like, get in there. And it's fairly easy to remove from the thing. It's a hairball. Because my, my hair falls out really easily. Like, while I'm brushing. Like, I have plenty of hair, so it's fine. But, like, yeah. Let's test it on my everyday hairbrush. I, don't clean, I haven't cleaned it out in a while, so it needs a good cleaning. Let's see. Oh, my. Should have cleaned it out before this. This is embarrassing. Oh, that's getting a lot. But the qu real question is, can I get, like, the dirt? Because it gets, like... Cause it can get like deep into the center and like you know like the dust things that collect like around each of the little like bristles on your hairbrush those are so annoying so this is amazing i love that oh, no they're all going in the trash can i keep a trash can right next to my vanity so now we're going to test out the white eyeliner don't judge my eyelining skills. I don't wear eyeliner. And yeah. So let's do a little, try to do like a wing. I don't know. This is probably gonna end up, this is probably gonna end up very badly because I don't do makeup. Like I do, but I don't. So I'm looking down at the mirror below this. So pardon my not looking right at the camera at all. Let's see. Well, it's not bad could be better but obviously it's white so it's like really hard to see we definitely have to do like a better makeup look for this but overall not bad i like it really i wish it was a little bit more vibrant because it's not a vibrant, like, white once you put it on the skin. But that could also just be me. Let's see. If I accidentally rub my eye. Ooh. Did that, like, wipe off? I got my finger and then got it, like, over here. I think. I don't know. But let's see. Does it just wipe off? Yup. So I'm not sure if you put, like, um setting spray if that would make it so it doesn't rub off i don't know let's go a little hard that's cute oh that's so cute i like that let's see oh i just stabbed it that's okay put it back in there oh ew <laughs> like chunk of the pencil came off onto my finger so let's see That's still good in my eye. Because you don't need it, like, or I don't need it anywhere else on my face. So I'm just gonna, like, wipe it off. I'll wash my, rinse my face off after this. I'll probably just, like, take a wipe or something. But, so, there's that dry. Oh, it's not rubbing off as much. Let's see. Does it rub off with the. Yep. So. If you want like a nice look all day, I wouldn't suggest it probably. But for me, when I'm just gonna use it for like tiny things here and there, it's not bad. I like it. I don't see why you wouldn't. So these two are a win. So I think the only things that like I don't like are maybe, I'm probably gonna see if I can turn some of the necklaces or something. But overall, I like everything.
Okay, guys. So I was just looking back at like the information on each thing, and it said that this was supposed this ring was supposed to have words on the inside. Like I thought it was. Oh, it does. It says, "With God, all things are possible." Aww. <coughs> okay. Definitely keeping that. I just I hadn't noticed. I'm annoyed with myself. I can't believe I didn't notice that. You do. Oh, also, question in the comments. Do you do hearts like this or like this? Because I do a mix. Like, sometimes I'll go like this and sometimes I'll go like this. Yeah. That's my question for you guys. And, oh, or like this. Because this is also really cute. I'm not, I haven't done this. I do this. Well, I do this with my friend and we, like, open out and go like, like this. Yeah. But I go like this because it's, like, a backwards. I don't know. I'm strange. Love you guys. Bye.